Hi everyone, Jill here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my series, New to Wigs. I'm going to be updating how I wash my wigs and we're going to go downstairs in the kitchen and going to walk you through how exactly I wash my wigs, how they end up looking when they're done, as well as showing you the products that I use to do this. I would like to say that my original how I wash my wigs still pertains today. I use Woolite to wash them and Downy Fabric Softener, the sensitive formula to condition and treat my wigs. And I have to say, I have done that for years and it hasn't been up until just very recently that I decided to kind of retry some actual wig shampoo and conditioners again. Actually, I say that as a plural when I really mean just one, because if you recall, you probably don't if you're fairly new, but I had a terrible uh, experience with a shampoo that's made for wigs and synthetic fibers and conditioner. It just really destroyed my wigs. So it was the fabric softener that revived those couple of wigs that happened to. And, and I just continued to do that when it was time for me to wash and treat and condition my wigs. I have had no problems doing that. Uh, there, it's, it's a little controversial because some people have indeed had issues with doing that. It, it, their, their fibers get gummy, hand tied caps start shedding um, and I've not had any of those issues. I don't know what the certain circumstances were with those particular incidences, you know, what the parameters were, the variables that were used. I just don't know the explanation. So always just do your due diligence and do some research, get many different points of views and learn about everyone's experiences and then come up to your own conclusion if it's something that you feel comfortable trying and doing yourself. With that said, yes, I decided that, you know what? I am going to try this shampoo and conditioning balm. I am I think that's what it's called. We'll find out here in a minute when I get it out. Uh, but it's been sitting there in my cupboard forever. It was given to me when a wig was given to me to do a review. It was a couple years ago. And I decided I'm gonna give this a go. And so I used a Tony Bratton wig at the time, my trendsetter, the very first time I washed it and decided I'm gonna follow the directions precisely and see what happens. And it turned out beautifully. And ever since I've been using the Belle Madame products on my wigs, I have had really wonderful luck and uh, it's been absolutely a gorgeous thing. So let's go downstairs and get going on how I've been washing my wigs. All right, we are down in the kitchen now. Excuse the lighting and the sound. So here is what you're gonna need in order to wash your wig. You're gonna need your wig that desperately needs to be washed. So I thought it would be appropriate if I washed Kona. This is Kona by Beltress in Honey with Chai Latte. And this is the same exact wig that I also washed for you guys in my very first How to Wash Your Wigs video. So I thought it would be kind of fun to go ahead and do it again, and she does need it again. I mean, she's been washed in between that time, but I have not worn this wig in so long because she, she needs to be washed again. So you're gonna need your wig and a dryer rack. This is the dryer stands. And you're going to need one of these because you need the air to flow through and get in and it will dry uh, really nicely with a dryer rack. They're very inexpensive. You're going to need a pick. Okay, something if you don't have one of these, you're going to need something that is very wide tooth comb, even if it's not a heat friendly fiber, just in general, I highly recommend only using one of these on your synthetic fibers. And then you're going to need something to detangle it, something that you can just lightly spray and treat while you very carefully detangle it. And I have yet to find a detangling mist that I truly like. Uh, so I have been using the Kenra. This is the platinum line. This is for human hair, but it's called the Silkening Mist. And for some reason, it, it works really well as a detangler. It's not ideal, and I'm still looking for one. So I'm, I'm not really into the John Renault one. I think it really does gum up the fibers a little. So you have to use it very sparingly. It does detangle, but I'm not sure I like that trade-off. And the others that I have used do sort of the same thing. So if you are using one that you really like, share that. I would love to know down below. 
Obviously, we're gonna need some shampoo and a conditioner, okay? Again, as explained prior, I love this. This, this is working really well. So uh, I'm going to show you how I go about that, but you're obviously gonna need that. And you definitely need to condition. You need to somehow use something that is going to condition the fibers. Uh, you can't just shampoo and call it good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just really lightly, because this is, this is gonna be shampooed out, but I just want to, especially here in the nape area, I want to spray something, you know, that is gonna make this a better, more delicate process for my wig here. So I do like to start here in the nape, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Again, I find this silkeny mist works rather well as a detangler. And it smells lovely, I must say. And I just sort of gently work my way up to the very top. If I find a particular area is being stubborn, I'll spray a little more of that detangler. So like right in here, I'm just gonna spray just a little bit. I'm gonna spray just a little bit right there and just really delicately kind of work that out and then work my way up. All right, now that I have that all taken care of, it's time to fill up our sink. So let's get going on that. This I'm going to do as it suggests. I'm gonna actually fill up my sink. I don't measure one liter. I just fill my sink up, but I do measure the one tablespoon. If anything, I'm using way more than a liter, so I feel okay with that. I'm gonna fill up my sink with sort of cool, warm-ish water. Let's do that now. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just immerse, immerse the wig. This is a lace front, so I really kinda of want to really gently uh, clean that lace. And just be really gentle. You don't need to do any heavy duty scrubbing at all. And then you can go in and, and sort of do a little light scrubbing around the perimeter of where any makeup might be, but that's it. That's really all I do. Okay, and then the next thing I do is I just take it by its side and I just kind of wash it. I just kind of dredge it back and forth. Okay, you don't wanna do any manipulating of the fibers when you're washing your wigs. It's not like your own hair, okay? So it's a very delicate procedure. And as you can see, the water actually is getting quite dirty just by doing this. So I do that just a few times and then I just let it soak in there and I leave it alone. And again, this water is definitely more cool than it is warm, but I'm just gonna let it sit there now. So the, the directions actually don't tell you to soak it for any length of time. I'm just gonna let it sit in there for just a couple minutes because 
If you watch Wigs by Patty's Pearls, I think, um, and it could be whatever the product is that she used, but she recommended letting it sit in there for I think about 10 minutes or so. They don't say that with this. So I'm really not gonna let it sit for too long. I'm just gonna kinda let it hang out here for just a couple minutes. And then you are gonna rinse it with cold water really thoroughly, kind of cool water. It doesn't have to be ice cold, but coolish water really well. When you're washing, conditioning, drying you do not want to wring out these wigs you do not want to manipulate those fibers in any way it is really just a hands-off let the product do its thing and i'll show you how to properly get your wig ready for the dryer rack one thing i forgot to mention is that you are going to want to get a bath towel ready i have this just kind of you know laid out long ways and uh, you're gonna need a bath towel size, not, not a hand towel size. Okay, so it's, all, it's only been a couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this out. Okay, so. I am now gonna drain. And while that's draining, I'm gonna take some cold, cool water and I'm just gonna start rinsing this out. Okay, so I did not edit that down at all. I just wanted you to see how long I actually take to rinse out that shampoo. If you see any little bubbles, if you see any of that, keep rinsing. You wanna rinse, 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 and rinse some more. So if I were to go like this and see any little bubbles, I would continue to rinse, but I think we're good. All right, so now I'm just gonna kinda, I'm just gonna kinda set this over here for just a moment and we are going to rinse out the sink again. All right, and then once I get this filled up to where I want it, it's not quite there yet, I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of the balsam, this conditioning balsam is so nice and I have just it's to me is what really is making the difference with using you know this this Belle Madame shampoo and sort of conditioning so let's go ahead and get this going All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I have not wrung this out. I have not done anything but just sort of set it over here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and place it into this conditioning treatment. And then I am still, I'm gonna kind of dredge it about just a couple times. 
and I'm just gonna push it down in and that's it. The directions say to leave it on for five minutes and so I'm gonna set my timer and it's gonna soak in there for five minutes. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. All right, all right. So if you've never done this before, you're gonna have a very strong desire to use your pick and pick it out. And you just absolutely do not wanna do that. You will ruin the fibers of your wigs. So avoid that completely until it's 100% dry. So let's go over here. Step on my cat here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are just going to open up the towel. I have it sort of doubled up. I've opened it up and I'm gonna just lay it in here. And then I'm gonna put this over and I'm just lightly going to press it. And then I'm gonna roll it this way and again, really gently just pressing it. That is it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it right on the dryer rack. It's gonna be very, very wet. It shouldn't be dripping though, but I do keep it on top of a doubled up towel just in case it is. It, it may a little bit, but that should be pretty much gone by now. Again, just don't even consider running anything through these fibers at this point. These dryer racks have these little pins here, okay? And that's because that fits right into them. You kind of have to assemble it. Do not put your lace front over the top of one of these. I did that by accident one time and it really just permanently creased my lace front of that particular wig and I had to use It Stays right on the lacing to, to get that to go away when I wore it and generally I don't use It Stays specifically to like glue down my lace. But So be very careful. Make sure the front of that wig and that lace is, is right in this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So that lace is right in between these two, safe and sound, good to go. So I know it looks a little bit disheveled. This is how it's gonna remain until it's completely dry. And then when it's completely dry, I'll meet you back here. Okay guys, it is in the evening, it's dark outside, this has been drying. I put it on a towel on my bathroom floor downstairs because the heater, I have the door shut in there and it just kind of stays warm. And so I decided that's where I was gonna put it. But it is completely dry now, completely dry. I have not, you know, combed through this at all. So let me do that now actually this is always exciting i love when i can finally <laughs> pick through these when they're after they've uh, been washed and you still you know you still want to start at the bottom and just kind of really gently start making your way to the top Now this is not a new wig. I have had this wig for a long time and the ends I can feel, you know, the ends even after getting a conditioning treatment, they they definitely are, are feeling their age. They're getting a little dry and uh, just, just a little brittle. But really this wig has held up really nicely. So I'm actually anxious to get this one on. I have not had it on my head in a very long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. It's just a very cute wig. So other than the fact that, yes, you know, it's it's starting the very ends here and there are really starting to kind of get that dry brittleness going on. It's not to the point where I can't wear it. And it definitely feels wonderful. Um, I, I am so pleased with that Belle Madame shampoo and conditioning balsam. Uh, I, I don't have to, you know, like, oh, I hope this works anymore. I did the first time I used it. And it's working wonderfully on all the different types of synthetic fibers that I own, which would be the regular and the HD. So far, so good. And different brands even. 
All right, I hope that you guys found this helpful. It was about time that I do an update regarding how I have been currently washing my wigs. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.